M0FXB RS918. Now I've added the Nizar firmware update to this model. Turn it up. Now I haven't configured anything yet. I haven't configured the frequency adjustment, bias, anything. So it's still sounding grey. I did change the colour of the scope quickly. I had to configure the touch screen just by holding the stylus on the screen while turning on. So I just want to show you, this is my 101D. So that's 7158, similar antenna, long wire. So to me, it's on frequency now. Transmit wise, I don't know, because I'm going to check all that. I really am very, very impressed with these little sets, especially for what they cost, and that there are people making modified firmware. I'm going to compare it in a second to my Zygu X6100. I'll just put an external speaker in, then that will uh, give you the audio quality that I'm getting here, because the built-in speaker, I like it. It's better than the Zygu X6100. Um, but let's hear it on my external speaker from ICOM. So that's with uh, with this speaker. It's a really old one. It's an old Icon SP7 that every now and again I dig out, but it sounds good. So I thought I'd just show you how pleased I am without even configuring. Now, what I did have to update the bootloader and the firmware to get it to the latest version. The step, let's push there. We're trying to contact that station. We're on five watts. Mike Zero Foxtrot X Ray Bravo. Ah, quite a bad SWR. I need to get my tuner out. This is the tuner I use. They only cost about £60. Yeah, as soon as I, I put the tuner on, you see it in the distance ATM 100M. It's down, the SWR is nice and low. Maybe now, um, just How good it sounds. I'm just really impressed with it. And fun to use. So we'll try and give a call. We'll up it to about 10 watts. See it on the screen there? Yeah, it looks like the choices I'm seeing is one, 0.5, full. If I leave it on full, let's see what the tuning's like. I can hear my dogs there as well. <laughs> M0FXB tune, yeah, that's fine. Well, it looks like everyone's having a good old rag chew. I can't really get in, but it was nice to see that my tuner's done well. A lot of signals come in uh, at night. They come in very low angle. So, I'm sure... I've got the screen dimmed down. It's actually brighter than you're seeing. If you've not seen one of these before, you've got your mode here and on the screen, DSP functions, which I haven't even played with yet. You can see it changing here. This is the Nizar latest firmware. Power's changing now. Bandwidth, not seeing where that's changing. Items here at the top, volume, A, is it A, why not, is it AGC? Many functions I haven't turned on yet. Sorry, my hand's making that bad reflection, isn't it? Tune, it sends out, again my hand, sends out a little tune, VFO A and B, split mode, channel tune, and, and then the menu, big, big menu. And the way you reveal things in the menu, 
if you go to the item that, that one's a standard menu you turn up and down with the middle knob so let's just say we want to show the standard then turn the right knob and it says show and then you can go down and make changes now I've been look I'm now looking at the calibration list by John M5 ID so I'm going to copy them up first and now there is a link with all your calibration items here input touchscreen basic SWR PA power basic bias apparently that's really important more bias RF power adjustments so there's the sort of official version with lots and lots you can tinker with and I'm just going to copy John's for now and then I'll take it from there I'll look, I'll look at that as a starting point because he's put a lot of working of course each radio will be different so thanks for watching my channel it's a great little gadget bye for now